Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the advanced recipes in GST using Tally Prime. So first we need to know what is advanced recipes. So advanced recipes is the one uh, by which we receive the uh, advance from our customer for the supplies we made, uh, we made to the customer. So we are liable to pay tax for the advance we receive from our customer so uh, the invoice may be raised in the in that uh, particular month or in the or in the next month whatever may be the situation we have to we are liable to pay tax for the advance we received from our customer so there are two scenarios uh, so i have discussed both uh, both these scenarios uh, for example if if uh, if the in, if the advance is received in the same month then uh, so, so in, in both these cases the advances received in April 1 but for the first case the invoice is raised in the same month that is in the same April month uh, but in the second case we are uh, we are raising the invoice in the uh, in the May month so for this case I have to make two adjustment entries so first we will go with uh, this step uh, then after the afterwards we can uh, go with this step so let's go into the configuration so this is our tally prime so i have already created uh, the customer master and, uh, and the sales entry i will just uh, display it so this is the customer uh, i have just now created similarly the sales account So the first step in uh, advanced receipts is uh, I have to activate the GST. I have already activated. So I, I want to show one important configuration. So here, this is the first step. I have to make it as yes. Enable tax liability on advanced receipts. This is the first ever uh, configuration I need. I need to do before uh, entering into the configuration. So uh, all other are same. So kindly refer my previous videos for activation of GST and uh, and the RC entries. So kindly uh, like and uh, subscribe my videos if you like this video. So my my second step is to. So uh, now I'm going to perform this uh, this uh, step. That is the. Advances received in the, in the April month. So I am receiving the advance from my customer in the April month, and and also and also I am raising the invoice in the same month. So for this transactions, I I no need to do any adjustment entries. Um, so I I I will demonstrate this. So to do so, I have to enter my voucher. So click on receipts uh, click on start adjustments here uh, select the advance receipts so receiving the advance receipts from my customer so I am going to sell this cell phone so I am receiving 1000 rupees as an advance amount from this customer so the tax amount is displayed so the advance is, this is the first advance. I'm receiving thousand rupees as advance from my customer, debiting the cash. So I have received the advance from my customer. Now I'm going to check this in my uh, GST report. GST report GSTR one for sales. I'm going to I'm going to change the period. There is one four. To one five, I have received the uh, advance in the April month. That is April one. So here it shows that the amount unadjusted against supplies. This is the amount I have received as as advance. So it shows like this. So escape pressing on escape. So now I am going to raise the invoice in the second of April. So I'm just changing the date. 
let it be second of april now i'm going to post the invoice there is a sales uh, sales voucher getting into voucher sales so the party name is customer sales account let it be the classification as uh, sales taxable since it is a intra transaction so the thing i am going to sell is cell phone one quantity that is not issue let it be the price of the phone is 10000 rupees i have not created the output tax accounts pressing on alt c so it comes under a duties and tax so kindly refer my previous videos activation of gst i have made it in a separate video tax gst gst so so here you, you have watched that uh, i could not uh, refer my uh, advance entry that is posted before so if the situation arise kindly change this uh, click on change mode and uh, change it as voucher as voucher mode so now you can uh, link that uh, advance payment advance receipt sorry so here i can link the advance advance one that is uh, 1000 rupees then uh, again i go with uh, on account so that uh, i have linked the advance so the sales i am uh, performing the sales voucher and the date second second of april that is the next day of uh, of the advance advance receipt so i have saved the entry now uh, now i can check my uh, gst report display more report gst reports gst r1 changing the period so my uh, this thing gets cleared and my invoice has been posted against the uh, advance so this is the first case so i have performed this first case now now i am going to move on with the second case that is the advance is received received in the april month that is the first of april but the invoice is raised in the first of may so for, for this i have to uh, make two adjustment entries so that is i have to increase the liability uh, in april month uh, then in the in the, in the next month i have to decrease the liability so increase of let it be tax liability so that it, it will be uh, somewhat clear here also i am decreasing the tax liability so now we can perform the second case in our tally prime so similar way i am i am receiving the uh, receiving the advance from our customer for the same uh, for the same 1000 rupees oh, sorry okay let it be i am receiving the advance in second of april so click on start adjustment advance receipts so the same the same quantity that is the same uh, material the same advance amount it is a second advance okay i am performing this advance receipt in second of april so now i am going to check my uh, gst report
so you can see that uh, so you can see that the uh, advance is uh, received in this April 2nd so I'm clicking on enter click on enter so now I have to book this liability so I'm going to do the adjustment tree for uh, for this thing so that I can book the liability so I suggest you to write these things 847.46 and uh, 152.54 in some paper so that uh, uh, you don't uh, miss these things so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my liability in this particular month April 2021 okay? okay let's do it so here I click on adjustments start adjustments so it automatically says the increase of tax liability so the thing is on account of advance receipts clicking on this so here I want to create a new account so click on alt C that is a uh, tax on advance let it be under uh, current assets so not bothering other things click on save okay the, so the tax on advance is 152.54 okay the credit entry is output tax the taxable value is the taxable value is 847.46 so th that's why I, I told to write these things no, no, no. so this is 76.27 if you miss this uh, these decimal numbers also it will end up with error so that is the issue with this so here I want to go with yes the ledger MS customer okay I have I, increased my tax liability so I have booked my liability so my entry will appear here tax liability advances received so uh, this is my liability I have increased my liability for the April month so now I will post my invoice in the May month so I'm changing the date as uh, 1 5 sales the same customer customer sales uh, sales that is uh, sales taxable so, cell phone Okay. the output tax so so here here it is not a link there is a, we could not link the advance so I click on change mode make it as a voucher so that I can link my advance that is made in the April month. Here, click on advance, second advance, that is 1000 rupees on account. So, the remaining is same. So, after after seeing this invoice, we, we came into conclusion that uh, the, the advance we paid in the last month is not included in this sales invoice. So this is the uh, main reason why we are going with the second uh, second adjustment tree. So we have increased our tax liability in uh, April month, but when we post the invoice in the uh, May month, I could not get that. Uh, uh, I could uh, I'm I'm paying again the uh, the tax for the again paying the same tax that is uh, the, uh, this uh, thousand eight hundred this thousand eight hundred and that is a real tax for the cell phone which is an addition burden um, so actually this thing should be get reduced by 152 rupees so the taxes I have already paid in the last month but uh, here it is not uh, appearing with the eight uh, some somewhat less than uh, 
it is it is not respond it is not giving us uh, seven fifty two rupees it is saying nine hundred rupees so that I I have to go with the uh, uh, this that uh, this adjustment tree that is decrease of tax liability so we will follow that so I am saving the entry it's saving this uh, so I have saved the sales let's see in the day book yes this is the sales second sales okay I have saved the entry now I will go and see my GST report so this is the April month report I am changing the period as I want to see the report for May so here so here it, it, it says the sales against at once from previous period so here I uh, I want to decrease this tax liability so this is the tax I have increased my tax liability in the last month so now I want to make the adjustment tree uh, to decrease this tax liability so to do that I want to click here enter on it enter so start adjustment sales against so here I here you can see the decrease of tax liability is book so sales against advance receipts so the entry what I want to pass here is output tax the taxable values so this thing we have to keep in mind the taxable values 847.46 so the output tax is 76.27 that's why I have told to mark this in some paper yes GST the tax is 27.27 so the credit entry is this thing tax on at once so that uh, I am nullifying this account so this account will act as an intermediate account so click on enter yes that at once receipt number is 2 the at once we have made the receipt as 1 4 ledger name is customer I have made the adjustment entry so you can see here that uh, this is the first adjustment entry we have, we have passed in the uh, April month so this is uh, this adjustment entry now we have posted so these two gets cancelled and the next is the sales I have to pay this thing see this is the tax amount so likewise we have to pass the adjustment entry so uh, that's it with the uh, advanced receipts with the GST. Uh, so uh, kindly subscribe my channel. If you like the channel, kindly subscribe to me. Thank you guys. We will see you in the next class. Thank you.